Harrison Chase Brown, age 15, Raymond Chase, age 19, Felix Sacco, age 17, Caleb Nolt, age 14, and Alec Henriksen, age 18, took their lives after enduring what must have seemed never-ending bullying, harassment, frustration, and turmoil that faced them every day. And whereas we as a community made up of business owners, neighbors, parents, peers, whether we are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or not, must come together to educate and enlighten our youth, their parents, and others to stop the fatal anti-gay bullying and harassment in our schools and society as a whole. And whereas the community of Wilton Manors is a positive reflection of what the future can hold for our youth, a community of tolerance, unity, and acceptance, and members of our community can and should serve as positive role models for GLBT teenagers. And whereas by displaying our acceptance through such events as these, it is hoped that this devastating epidemic will become a thing of the past. And whereas Fort Worth City Commissioner Joel Burns said it best, attitudes of society will change, please live long enough to see it. And whereas Spirit Day, created by teenager Brittany McMillan earlier this month, has inspired millions of Americans to pledge to wear the color purple on Wednesday, October 20th, 2010. And whereas the city of Wilton Manors is honored to have the gay teen suicide candlelight visual here in our city, as we mourn the teens who have taken their lives and urge all our community to honor them on this day. Now therefore, I, Gary Resnick, mayor of the city of Wilton Manors, Florida, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, October 20th, 2010, as National Spirit Day in the city of Wilton Manors, to support our gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender. Thanks.